Hello, Kazgem here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a little bit of extra money on the side uh, if you just want to do something a little easier than running around killing stuff for hardened fell glass. And it's actually with blacksmithing, which uh, doesn't often have easy ways to make money, at least not lately. So how am I doing this? Well, I'm making the demon steel bars, hence why I'm over here at the firmament stone in high mountain, like I have been for much of the past several days. Anyways, uh, the reason why this is so profitable right now, because on my server at least, I'm making almost double what I put into it, so if I put in, let's say, 100 gold, I'm making about 180 gold on each bar, so I'm making 80 gold profit per bar that I make. That's pretty good. The other day I was making 95 profit per bar. So again, it varies, but it's definitely worth looking into, because the mount looks great, a lot of people want it, and well, not everybody wants to come all the way out to High Mountain to make the Demon Steel Bars. So there's a few ways that you can kind of maximize your efficiency with this. Uh, one thing that I've been doing is I found that, that the magic number is making 300 Demon Steel Bars at a time. Now why is that? Well, if you're like me and you have your Hearthstone set up to the Iron Horn Enclave, because A, blacksmithing things, and B, it's actually just a nice central point in the Broken Isles, you can appear right at the Firmament Stone, which just makes for more efficiency, and, well, uh, it ends up being about 20 minutes. We can make around 300 human steel bars, roughly, and that's if you don't have the most efficiency with the mini blue clicking and all that stuff, and it also gives you a little bit of leeway just on making sure that you're not buying too much at a time. Anyways, if you do this, then go ahead and go back to the auction house of your choosing by hearthing back to Dalaran, then either using the one there or using one of the many other portals in Dalaran to actually get to a different auction house. Just go ahead and put it on up there for, I'd recommend, uh, stacks of 100, because that's the amount needed in the new Falcor Hound mount, and well, a lot of people will be needing it in exactly that amount, and they don't want to overbuy for such a pricey crafting operation. Hopefully this is able to help at least a couple people uh, make a little bit of money that maybe you don't want to do something quite as active as going around and killing coats around a mountain for up to an hour at a time. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.